Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to continue to compare iOS 5 to Windows 8. Now Windows 8 is in the consumer preview or beta stage. There should be a release candidate and then the final version. But I thought we'd take an early look and see what we have as far as the differences are concerned. So today we're going to take a look at mail. So let's go ahead and take a look at mail. Now, so you know, I have brightness set up here automatically on the iPad and I have it full bright on the Inspiron Duo. Uh, in order to see this screen, as unlike my last video, in order to see the screen, you actually have to be directly over it. So the camera is directly over it, but me sitting, sitting at an angle is very difficult to see. So if you're looking for a tablet, you may want to see something else, check something else out. Uh, but your viewing angle is pretty good. So let me go ahead and move the iPad out of the way, and we'll take a look at mail on Windows 8. So here you can see I have mail. It's on the home screen. You can move it around wherever you want, just like iPad. You can move the, the icons to wherever you would like. Let's go ahead and open it up, and it's pretty basic. So here you can see at the top it says App Preview, and even though it says App Preview, it's still pretty good, pretty simple, but pretty good. So you can see I can scroll through mail. So let's go ahead and, I guess, pick a Microsoft mail that I have. So you just tap, open it up. Uh, you can't pinch to zoom here, which is weird and there it's asking for my account information uh, let's go back get out of here uh, delete draft so we'll come back I must have hit the plus button there so we have a couple options so right here it looks pretty simple we can select different emails things like that you can select eBay Motors just some different things and scroll through them now the accelerometer is not turned on here so I can't really show you that it's a little bit of a bug as far as the Inspiron Duo is concerned uh, but either way, we'll go ahead and show you what we can. So here we have plus, we can start a new email. I hit plus, two, we can CC, we can type here, brings up the keyboard, and you have different options, fonts, things like that. Uh, let's go ahead and close out of that. We want to either save the draft or delete it. We'll delete it in this case, and pretty nice. Now, again, this is an app preview, as it says on the top, so you're not going to have the finalized version here. Now. As with all Windows 8 apps, if we scroll from the bottom or top, we get some options. We have options for accounts, and we have a couple of options, uh, Hotmail and Gmail, things like that, uh, Exchange if you wanted it, and then you can add accounts. We'll go ahead and close that. And if we scroll up from the bottom, you can see it's a little bit buggy. We can go to folders, and folders is what you would expect. On the left-hand side, uh, we have our different folders. Now, let me see what we have. I, that's Like I said, I can't hardly see this at this angle. So, uh, inbox, drafts, sent items, outbox, things like that. And let's go ahead and get rid of folders. There we go. I scrolled up from the bottom. Now, like I said, we can scroll into each email. Uh, we can move things out of the way, uh, check them, go to different ones. Not a whole lot you can do in here, but you can move them to folders. Mark is unread, sync them, provide feedback. Uh, that's because this is for mail. And then we can forward or trash them. So I'll trash this one, it trashes it, we go to the next. Real simple mail app. Uh, there are some other features. My battery's pretty low in this too. There are some other features, but that's pretty much it as far as mail goes. But that's what most people will need is just a basic mail client that you can create new new email uh, and check your email regularly you won't need anything too advanced now with windows phone 7 you could just tap down here and it would highlight and you could delete i haven't found a mass delete so if you've seen that please go ahead and comment below uh, if there's a quick way to do that but without really looking into the features it's it's not obvious at least in this particular build we do have settings and things but it's not particularly obvious now when it comes to iphone and ios and ipad uh, we'll set the Windows 8 tablet aside, and here we have iOS 5. In iOS 5, uh, we have Mail. Now, there are other Mail clients you can download as apps, and I would assume that would be the same for Windows 8 in the future, uh, just like you, if you like Thunderbird or whatever email client you like, uh, you can use on the desktop. So you don't have to use that Mail app, but we'll go to Mail here, and we have our different email accounts. We have Inbox, iCloud, Gmail, Exchange. Uh, we'll go to Gmail in this case, and someone subscribed to me, so thank you very much. I appreciate that. So you can see we tap on it. We can read the full email. We can zoom in if we'd like. We can reply, forward, or print. We can delete it. We can move it to a different folder, 
and it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, uh, and pretty powerful as far as a mail client goes. We can create a new email, and since this is the iPad uh, 3 or latest iPad, we can dictate as well, built right in. So we can say, Hi, I'm just taking a look at Windows 7, or Windows 8 rather, versus iOS. It's going to put it in the two line. It says, I'm just taking a look at Windows 7 or Windows 8 rather versus iOS. So it got it exactly, and it's built right into the latest iPad. You can do that on your uh, iPad here. But I don't know that they'll be doing that in the future on the Windows side, but I would assume they would do that. But again, it's in early stages, so maybe not. Uh, other than that, we can go to our next email here. We can hit our e inbox. Now, if I go to landscape, we have a similar look something I bought on Amazon here. Uh, we have a similar look to the email as we do with Windows 8. We have our emails here and our email displaying on the right. So I'm not sure what it looks like in portrait mode on the Windows side, uh, but we'll have to see that maybe later when I can get an accelerometer working in those properly. But overall right now, mail is pretty basic on the Windows side. It, well, it's not terribly advanced on this side, you can add accounts and things. Uh, it is a pretty nice mail app. They are both pretty nice. I appreciate the simplicity on the Windows 8 side of things as well. And here you can see, I shut it off. Uh, battery was pretty low, but there you can see the lock screen as well. So we have, and one of the things it'll show you is how many email you have here. Notification Center will show that on the iPad as well. So overall though, I think they're eventually when this is complete, I would hope it'd be about equal. Uh, but currently it's not. So that's pretty much it as far as mail goes on iOS 5 and Windows 8. If you have any questions or maybe anything you know more about Windows 8 with the mail that maybe I missed, please go ahead and place that in the comment below. Uh, I'm not intentionally missing anything, but those are the things that I thought were obvious. Uh, people want to know in the mail client, and that's pretty much it as far as mail goes. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.